Published 0548 EDT, the 11th of August 2017. Updated 0605 EDT, the 11th of August 2017. The Premier League is back fresh with new balls, new fonts and new rules on diving and pitch patterns. But one feature of Premier League life that thankfully remains constant is fantasy football. So prepare for more ecstasy, drama and agony and that's just choosing a team name. If, like yours truly, you have yet to pick your team and join your leagues, well played. Because here Sportsmail gives you a leg up on your competitors with an 8-point plan for fantasy triumph. Would-be managers from all up the country soon begin fantasy Premier League campaigns be smart when choosing your formation own of the more insidious trains of thought that lingers in the dark corners of football is that it's players, rather than formation, that matters. This unpleasant myth has drifted into the realm of fantasy football, too. 343, 442, 4321 What difference can they really make, the cynics ask? Well let me give you an example of why it matters. Antonio Conte has made 343 fashionable again and many fantasy players are, rather intelligently, following his lead. One reason clean sheets are hard to come by, meaning defenders are prone to losing points even in winning teams. Strikers, by contrast, can pick up points for goals, for assists, man of match displays even on losing teams, points awarded for clean sheets are capped, too. Points for goals and assists can keep on rising, depending on how prolific your striker is. It's a no-brainer, folks. Chelsea boss Antonio Conte has made 343 fashionable again and you should follow his lead, but leave balance at the front door now we've dispelled one myth, it's time to peddle another. In football, it's true that formations count for little if it doesn't suit the players on the pitch. In fantasy football that's nonsense forget your double pivots, your tricartista and your inside forwards. It's time to unleash your inner Garth Crooks. Alexis Sanchez in central midfield yes please. Dele Alli and David Silva as your two holding players sign me up. Victor Moses, Kyle Walker and Alberto Marino as a back three put a ring on it, there is no point picking players for balance if they're not going to win points. Think about who's getting the goals, the assists. Not who's a good foil for your number 10. Forget finding a foil for the likes of Dele Alli, fill your fantasy teams with point scoring players beat the system by checking how players are categorized football has evolved, meaning the notion of defenders, midfielders and forwards has become rather outdated. With wing backs, holding midfielders, no tens, wingers football has gone full lasagna and is now a four, even five layer cake, that fantasy football continues to persist with the three classic categories mean you can sneakily beat the system. Leroy Sane is listed as a midfielder, Victor Moses is a defender, John Walters is a midfielder. Think about it. Leroy Sane, who impressed in his debut season for Manchester City, is listed as a midfielder use your transfers well we've all been there. A striker is banging them in for fun, you pay over the odds to jump on the bandwagon and he hits a brick wall. Fantasy football prices are demand dependent. And it's easy to follow the crowd. But bucking the trend can work in your favor. Look for players who may have slipped under the radar unfashionable defenders at clubs on a good runs midfielders who take set pieces. Bargains are out there throughout the season. Don't be too top heavy when I said balance doesn't matter, IWASNT being totally honest because it's crucial you don't overload your team in one area. It's tempting to lump half of your balance on a front three of Romelu Lukaku, Harry Kane and Sergio Aguero. But what use is that when you have a back four made up three out of Ava teenagers and a potato? Likewise, don't let a host of expensive stars rot on your bench. Be careful about buying expensive players such as Romelu Lukaku when they're in good form. Don't put all your eggs in one basket to continue the food analogies. It's important not to put your eggs in one basket. Avoid having multiple defenders from one team. I may be insulting your intelligence here, but bear with me. If you have three Tottenham defenders and they concede twice, that's three times the number of points lost. Yes, you will win three times as many points if they'd a keeper clean sheet. But Thibaut Courtois won the Golden Glove last season and he managed to shut out in fewer than half of the matches he played. Remember be wary about selecting more than one defender from the same back forward and forget to stay interested if it's easy to panic transfer players, it's even easier to forget to change your team altogether. Believe me, I've haven't changed my team since game week 1, 2009, but to this at your peril. This is hardly Nobel winning analysis, but remember fantasy football is as about commitment as it is about football knowledge. And finally, 
Pick a good name. Is there any more soul-destroying than scrolling down a fantasy league and seeing the same, horrendously dull names trotted out year on year substandard leech, Balotelletubbies, Charlton Unathletic do us all a favor. Give me some cab I my lover, control all de lat, men behaving chadly. Original. Prolific Tottenham striker Harry Kane is sure to be a popular choice among fantasy footballers.